Hey guys, welcome back to No Catching Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Vlogtober tw- day 29. <laughs> it's Friday. I keep forgetting the days. I'm sitting here. I'm working on my spider blanket. I'm trying to move my camera. I'm trying to lock my phone over. <laughs> um, I actually have not done anything hardly at all today, <laughs> which was the plan. My ball keeps getting stuck because it's not a not a rolled ball it's like a skein ball and it's not rolling the way I want it to in my yarn bowl <laughs> but I um I took Jesse to school this morning uh and then I came home me and him played a little bit of Mario Karts this morning he woke up right you know perfectly this morning because he went to bed good on on time so he was brought out of bushy tail this morning <laughs> but uh we played some Pokemon I'm mean, not Pokemon Mario and then I took him to school and came home he has his Halloween party at school today so I'm sure he's having fun um I did come home and I did clean the house just a little bit not really clean but you know like pick up stuff I picked up the living room and the kitchen needed it bad (laughs) and I washed a little bit of dishes that uh aren't dishwasher dishes like knives and um our pizza cutter and some of Jesse's cups I don't like putting in the dishwasher um, I cleaned up the stove area, it's had pizza sauce all over it, <laughs> and, uh, you know, just stuff like that. I, uh, then I sat at the computer and did a little bit of computer work. Uh, I was working on, because we have a ton of DVDs, two big cases full, <laughs> and I've been wanting to make, like, a log of them, so that I know what movies we have, and we know which ones that we still want to pick up, and, uh, also, so we know which movies are in which case. Because we have two big cases that hold, I don't know, like 200 DVDs maybe each. And uh, so we got all of our DVDs in there. And then we throw away the plastic cases that they come in. So uh, so that they fit in our shelf. <laughs> um, so I, I, you know, I have like case one and case two. And I separated out all of uh, Jesse's movies so that he doesn't have to go through all of our movies to find his. And also separated out all the holiday movies. Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween. So that they're easier to find uh, during the holiday seasons. And uh, I got that all done. I found a movie that we've been wanting and we forgot we had, apparently. Um, and I also found that Devin had two copies of two movies. So I took out the copies. Uh, and we'll, I'll see if my sister or somebody wants them. And that's what happens when you don't have stuff organized. Is you double buy. <laughs> But I got them nice and organized now. And, uh, it's good to go. <laughs> I, uh, then after that I sat down and started watching some TV. I was watching Chicago Med. But, uh, I wanted to turn it off so that I could talk to you guys for a little bit. And I worked on my midwife blanket, which I finished. I'm not actually going to show it to you, though, because I'm going to show it in my No Kitchen Name episode. I'll show you just, like, right there. See, it's done. Nice and pretty. Ends are woven in. Also finished my hat, my seed stitch hat. It's actually behind the, the phone. <laughs> it's hold, it's helping hold the phone at the right angle so that you could see me and not my ceiling. Because I have a, um, like, a phone stand that I use to watch, like, YouTube videos on uh, when I'm just sitting around. And, yeah, so I finished two things today. And I'm working on my spider blanket, which I haven't even picked this up in days. Cause I've been so busy doing other stuff. So I've been wanting to uh, get some more, you know, rows added to it uh, to make it wider, bigger, bigger. <laughs> and then I want to make some more appliques for it. So I'm going to work on this today. It's a little after 12. I think it's like 10 after 12. I'm going to um, just work on it, sit here and relax and work on it. I do have a little laundry I need to hang up. It's already washed and dried. I just need to hang it up. <laughs> and... Um, I already got dinner in the crock pot. I'm cooking the tortellini finally. <laughs> and uh, it's probably already done because it cooks pretty fast. I need to go check on it and then put it on warm. And I'm gonna, all I gotta do later t- with that is I'm gonna, um, we have some garlic bread in the freezer. I'm gonna get that out and heat it up. And then we can have tortellini and garlic bread for dinner. It'll probably last for two days because it's a pretty good amount of food. But Devin does like it a lot, so he might eat a lot of it. Devin ended up having to miss work yesterday. 
uh, because he threw out his back. He does that all the time. Him and his dad both have, like, bad backs. And sometimes they just get thrown out. So he had to miss work yesterday. I'm hoping he feels better when he wakes up today. He seemed like he felt a little bit better last night than he did most of yesterday. So I'm hoping that he is doing better. And I've been doing good today. I'm proud of myself. I haven't been uh, overdoing it. I, uh, I ate, <laughs> which I know is one thing I have an issue with. Even Devin was telling me that, um, that I don't seem to eat very much. But it's just because, you know, when you're not hungry, you don't eat. So I did make me some food this morning to eat. And um, I've been watching TV, just relaxing and crocheting. <laughs> and let's see here. I don't think I have anything else to do other than that. I would like to get that laundry hung up mostly because it's mostly my laundry and I'm running out of clothes. I don't have a lot of clothes anyway, so I'm sure you guys have noticed because I wear a lot of the same shirts a lot. <laughs> and it's because I don't keep a big wardrobe because there's no point in having a ton of clothes if you're not ever going to wear them uh so that load is pretty much a lot of my clothes <laughs> all of my maternity pants were dirty that's the whole reason i had to wash them last night because my all my maternity pants were dirty and all of jesse's school pants were dirty so i had to get that load in there last night but he went to school this morning he wore his halloween t-shirt and he's having a halloween party today so i'm sure he's having lots of fun Today was going to be his field trip, but because of the rain, they had to cancel it. That's that's a bummer, but um, I'm sure he's having fun anyways. So I'm just sitting here making a ton of double crochets. <laughs> Getting some length on my blanket added. And then I need to weave in ends because there's getting to be quite a few on there. <laughs> and yeah, I already got some more projects that I want to start in my head. Because I finished the midwife blanket, but I still have a bunch of yarn. From all three of those balls that I was using. So I would like to make June a little cardigan. And booties and a bonnet I think. To match the blanket. I thought that would be cute. But I'm not going to start it now. I'm going to focus on finishing my spider blanket. Up in the next few days. And then I want to get some work done on my Christmas blanket. Because I haven't worked on it either. I still have that swan show going, but I haven't worked on it either. I don't know if I'm going to keep working on that or not. I might end up frogging that just because I'm not super into it, you know. And there's no point in wasting time crocheting something that you're not enjoying. I'm going to miss working on a spider blanket. Cause it's a lot of fun to add different colors. I want to do something for Christmas too. Vlogmas. I'd like to do, I'd like to do yarn swap with someone, but... I don't know who to contact to do one with because a lot of people are already talking about how they already got plans for Vlogmas. So, I might have waited too long. But Worst case scenario, I might have my husband or my sister help me set up something for my Vlogmas with yarn. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I'm adding some black to my blanket right now. I'm trying to stick to just Halloween colors. Um, so, I've been using greens, oranges, purples, blacks, whites. And some yellows and some reds. Just to kind of go with the colors that I got in my ball swap with uh, Jennifer. So, I think I think it's going to look good. It looks good when I lay it out. I just don't know how big I want to make it though. I keep laying it down on the floor. And I don't, I don't know how big I want it. I think it's almost the size that it needs to be. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's definitely bigger than a baby blanket. It's, it's more like a lap gun now. And, um, Jesse's the one who wants to claim it, so I'm sure he'd be happy with it being smaller, since he's smaller. But I don't know. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today, being lazy. <laughs> I'm relaxing. I, uh, I do have fabric I want to get cut, but I'm going to probably wait until Sunday, the daytime, and work on that a little bit. I just want to cut up the fabric I have just so I can see how many bags that I can make. Um, so I can get an idea when my next update's going to be. I've been filling out envelopes <laughs> for Christmas cards, too. i got a whole stack over there by my computer. Um, I'm filling out the envelopes first, and then I'll go back and fill out cards. And i got to print some more my address labels. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to buy some more stamps. I bought three books, which I think is 30 stamps. I'm not sure. I think there's 10 stamps in each book. But I'm going to need more. <laughs> and I'm going to need um, 
a few international stamps. I think I've got like four or five international Christmas cards right now that are going to be going out. And I know I've got a couple more people that I want to send them to. And then I'll be set with that. <laughs> I love that Christmas time is almost here. I'm looking forward to putting on my Christmas decorations in a few days. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to getting them out of the closet, though. We're going to have to move the TV. Luckily, Devin's off that day, so he can help me do all the heavy lifting. And he can put up the tree because I hate putting the tree up, physically up. And then I'll help him fluff it. And uh, we won't decorate it until Jesse gets home from school that day because it's a Monday. Um, and then he can help us decorate it. And I'll have the rest of the house decorated already by the time he gets home. And I need more decorations for Christmas. <laughs> I remember last year after I took Halloween down and put Christmas up, I realized that there was a lot of empty space. <laughs> so I need to buy and make some more Christmas decorations um, to go into my house to make it more festive. I won't put my outside Christmas decorations up until Thanksgiving for the sake of my neighbors. <laughs> so I know some people um, are annoyed by early Christmas decorations. But the inside of my house will be decked out. Because I love the holidays. And I love enjoying every moment possible of it. But yeah. So this is what I'm working on today. I'm just working on my blanket. And finished up a blanket and a hat. So I'm productive but lazy. So that's good. <laughs> hey guys. <clears throat> oh I'm walking weird because I've been sat down for a while. And my stomach's hurting. <laughs> my lower stomach. Um. So, today was interesting. <laughs> it is 5.30 now. Devin's at work and Jesse is at my mom's. I'm going to put you guys in the cabinet. <laughs> where I normally put you when I'm in the kitchen. Um, so, I was setting and relaxing and watching TV. I just talked to you guys at the clip earlier. And I got a phone call from Jesse's school. He had tripped and fell and hit his head on his teacher's desk <laughs> and he has a big old line like right through here I take a picture of it if I can think about it I'll put it up but it's like big old goose egg and in the picture I took it was still just swollen but now it's like blue and purple <laughs> and cut a little bit right here uh, not enough to need stitches but enough to bleed a little you know scrape the skin and he also hit like right here and he's fine he was checked out by the nurse and everything no concussion or anything like that but, um, you know, it was 1 o'clock, and so they wanted me to come check on him, and then he wanted to come home, so I checked him out. So, yeah, he's got a big old knot on his head, and a little cut right in his eyebrow, and a little mark right here from where he hit the desk. And uh, I felt so bad for him. He was crying when I, well, he was fine when I got there, but when he seen me, he started crying again. So I was loving on him, and his teacher was trying to help him feel better, you know, and the nurse was there, and it was just sad. But he got to get a bunch of candy and stuff from school, you know, from all the other parents sending bags. And um, <clears throat> so he had a good day. He just he hit his head. <laughs> I told the nurse if there's a way for him to get hurt, he will figure it out because he always hurts himself. <laughs> so, yeah, so after uh, I checked him out, I brought him back home, and we, hang we hung out in the living room just looking at his candy and playing and stuff until Devin woke up and then we did take him up to my mom's because he still wanted to go. So it's raining so we can't get to go to the trunk or treats where we're going to go to tonight. But that's okay. We'll try to go tomorrow if the rain moves out. But yeah, so I got a lot of crochet done today. I'm going to go All right, I'll take a break for a second. <laughs> I'm about to make me some potato wedges. I was just sitting on the couch and I was like, that would be a good thing to eat right now. <laughs> oven preheating. So today I didn't do much work like I had been planning, you know, to relax for a while. And I, um, I didn't do any work actually, but I did crochet a lot. <laughs> I finished three things today. Technically, because I just worked on some squares. So, seven things, technically, <laughs> I finished today just by relaxing and um, chilling out on the couch. And I'm about to, I'm going to make these potato wedges, and then I'm going to go back in there and watch TV. <laughs> and um, work on some more of these squares for my Christmas blanket. Got these potatoes. 
and my big old bag of potatoes. I'm gonna cut this bag down. Alright. It's just crazy day. Seems like every time I plan to do nothing, something happens. <laughs> and um, when I seen that his school was calling, my phone was ringing and I looked over and saw that it was his school. Um, I was thinking it was because he was coughing. He was coughing this morning, but we've been to the doctor three or four times with him, and his doctor keeps saying it's allergies because he's negative for everything that they test for. And he was coughing this morning, so I gave him, he takes allergy medicine, but I also gave him some cough medicine this morning, and that helped him to stop coughing this morning. So I was afraid he started coughing again, and that they were calling to tell me that he was coughing and needs to be tested, and blah, 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 all that COVID crap that <laughs> keeps happening. Um... But it was about him hurting his head. So I definitely, I got up and I had to get dressed because I was wearing pajamas. And I went over there to get him because uh, he's my baby and he was hurt. <laughs> when she first told me that he tripped and fell, I was thinking he had broke his arm or like had to get stitches or something. Before she finished her sentence, I, everything was running through my head. I was like, oh God, I'm going to take him to the hospital. And because none of our hospitals do anything for kids, I have to go all the way to Nashville, which is an hour and a half away. Because that's what we had to do when he broke his arm. Um, but luckily it was just, it's just a bump. It's looking pretty rough though. And she did say that it was probably going to be bru bruised, um, tomorrow. Really bad. And it's, it, when we were dropping him off at my mom's, it was already turning purple. Um, so he might have a black eye tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, he was in good spirits. And I, I sent Tylenol with him, uh, to my mom's so that she can give it to him if he starts getting a headache or, you know, if it just hurts. But yeah, so I'm going to wash my potatoes and cut them up and season them. <laughs> I'm going to make me some potato wedges and sit in there and crochet on some grain squares for my Christmas blanket and watch some more Chicago Med. I took a break from Chicago Med earlier and was watching a bunch of YouTube videos because I'm super behind. It is so easy to fall behind on YouTube videos. There's so many people who make them. Um, and then I got tired of you know doing that, so I went back to Chicago, <laughs> Chicago Med. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... I gotta go wash potatoes and I will catch up with you guys later if I can remember to. If not, I don't know. <laughs> Did that little dance again. That was cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at all our Halloween swag. And you also got a bag full of treats. <coughs> and some gummies. And some gummies. They're very little. Very little bat gummies. You look so cool with your rings and necklaces and your Halloween shirt. You These got to turn off so you can use them anytime. Yeah, that is so cool. If you wear those on Halloween, you'll just be glowing up. You'll just be like a little ball of light going down the road. How's your head? It's doing pretty good. Yeah, let's look at it. Oh, you poor boy. Is it still very bad? It's just swollen. It'll probably be swollen for a few days. So, it means few weeks. Probably not that long. It might bruise too, so if you wake up tomorrow at Granny's and it's black, don't be scared. It's just a bruise. Because <laughs> you bonked your head. Alright, I'll get you some medicine now, okay? Hey guys, it is almost 8. It's about 15 to 8. And I'm still just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> been doing nothing all day. Well, I've been crocheting a lot, so that counts. But, um... Got a lot of stuff done today. Turns out when I'm not busy doing other things, I can get a lot of crochet done. So I finished two blankets today. A hat. Four of these squares. I put the little Christmas trees on. And then I made two more squares. <laughs> so I'm getting stuff done today. Crochet stuff. Throw that over there. And um, I got every Friday Jesse's school sends home the stuff that he did in the past week. And look what he made. Can you see it? It's a Frankenstein. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm going to put that in my Halloween box when I pack up Halloween. And it'll be a decoration that I hang up every year. And then he's also got this drawing. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it looks kind of like jack-o'-lanterns. With balloons attached to them. That's what I'm thinking. And he wrote some letters down here. <laughs> I don't know what those letters are supposed to be. Or what, they, what he thinks they spell. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll have to ask him when he comes home. But yeah, I'm hoping, I hope this is his. I don't think that's a name. It's, 
it looks like it's D A N A N O N. Dan, Dananon, Dananon. <laughs> I don't know. I have to ask him. But uh, this might be a fence because I know they did a story where pumpkins were sitting on a fence and they had to build like a fence and put the pumpkin on it. So this might be. This looks like his drawing though. Like this right here is how he makes hands a lot on people. Hands and feet. He makes them circles. I have to ask him. Make sure that's his. <laughs> and um, ask him what exactly it is. It looks like Jack Leonard's floating with balloons. Still. Also got this awesome tree. <laughs> that he makes. I don't keep all his stuff. I have a whole stack actually that's going to be trashed. This is a coloring page that wasn't colored. So I thought I'd see if he wanted to color that. And this pumpkin. I'm keeping this pumpkin. And then this is just his, the newsletter we get every week from his school about, like, things that are coming up and, uh, stuff like that. Doesn't look like anything important. It looks like it's just basketball games. Boring. I see here he's out on November 24th through the 26th for Thanksgiving. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Of Thanksgiving week. So he'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, five days off for Thanksgiving. That'll be nice. Uh, I don't know what else this is. Uh, something about discriminations. <laughs> yearbooks. I need to order his yearbook. Um, and on the back, his teacher prints out stuff that they learned that week. And it's just talking about what they focused on this week. And, uh, I'm talking about the Halloween party. So, yeah, that's fun. But I got a host, another stack of just, like, classroom worksheets. I never keep those. I just keep the cute artsy things that he makes. Because if I keep them all, I will have way too much stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, always, I'm definitely keeping that Frankenstein. That's so cute. But, um, yeah, so I'm sitting here. I was watching some more YouTube videos and working on those squares. But I think I'm going to play a video game for a little while. I haven't played a game in a few days. And uh, so I think I might turn on something. Jesse took the Switch with him to my mom's. So I can't play Mario Party. <laughs> or uh, Mario Karts. Because he took it with him. But I can play something on the Xbox. So I might do that. Uh, Yeah. It's Like I said, it's almost 8. So I'll probably just play the game for a little while. And then pick up the living room because I kind of made a ma yarny mess in here. <laughs> and um, pick up the kitchen a little bit. It's a little dirty. Just dishes and stuff. And then I'll probably head to bed early tonight since Devin and Jesse are both gone. I can maybe get some really good sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, as bad as that sounds. But yeah. So tomorrow is Saturday the 30th. Uh, plans. Let's see here. We got to go to the store and get some oven cleaner. Because that cheese, <laughs> when I turned the oven on earlier, I ended up having to pull my potato wedges out of the oven and put them in the air fryer, which I should have done anyways. Because uh, that cheese was, some of it was still in there and it started smoking up the whole house again. I had the window open and fans growing everywhere so that the fire alarm wouldn't go off. And um, so I messaged Devin and told him that we got to get some oven cleaner and he's got to clean the oven. Because I can't because the chemicals in it is so strong that I don't want to be near it when I'm pregnant. But uh, I'm going to make him clean the oven since he's the one that messed it up. <laughs> But I, I used a knife to scrape out as much of the burnt cheese as I could. But it was still smoking like crazy. So, he's got to clean it. He's going to have to just get in there and clean it. <laughs> I thought we had some, but I can't find it. So, because um, it, it needs to soak, I was going to put like a mask on and spray it and just leave it closed until he got home tomorrow. And then he could, um, you know, wash it out. But oh well. I guess he's just going to have to do all of it. <laughs> uh, I got to do that tomorrow. I need to check the mail tomorrow. I need to drop off my rent because I forgot to do it earlier. It's due on Monday, so I still got a couple more days to get it in the box. Uh, we're going to trick or treat tomorrow night if the rain holds off. Hmm. I don't think we have any other plans. Jesse got in one of his treat bags from school. He got a free snow cone um, gift certificate from one of the kids. Who, I guess, knows the people who own the local snow cone place. <laughs> so, he'll probably want to go get that. He, we go there a lot anyways to get snow cones. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to relax a lot 
tomorrow and Sunday because, I don't know, the nights I will be busy. Because if the rain holds off tomorrow, we'll be going to trunk or treats a lot. And also Halloween night, you know, we're going to be trick or treating. So, the days I need to rest. <laughs> and then Monday, which is November 1st, is our anniversary. Uh, I'm not sure what we're doing for it yet. We haven't really made up our minds. <laughs> But um, we really need to go clothes shopping instead of, like, wasting money eating out a fancy meal. Because um, we need some winter clothes. So I might do that. I don't know. Devin's off work that day, so it works out good. And it's November 1st, so I can start fresh then, preparing bags for the next update and all that stuff. But yeah, it's been weird sitting around all day doing nothing much. <laughs> but uh, it's also been nice. I'm going to hop off here, play a game for a little while, and then get ready for bed later, probably. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog, and also a No Kitchen Am episode. I'm going to record tomorrow. Because I got a lot of stuff done, and I like to record videos when I got all the stuff done, so that I can put it where it goes. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.